I can't believe I haven't talked about this fragrance. Um, this is NML NML for men EDT version. Not one NML. There's another one, same bottle, but just one NML. This is double. All right. So make sure you got it right. Exactly different fragrance. Exactly different. Wait, what is, is that a word? Exactly different. My name is Dave. Good to have you here. This one's gonna smell like this. This is Terry Mugler Pure Havan, which is I don't think you can pick up it anymore. I was fortunate to be able to pick that up before it's it's totally gone. I got one of the last bottles, I think. And um, this one is very close resemblance. I'm talking about, I'm smelling on my hands right now, side by side. The first uh, few minutes is not going to be exactly, but about 80% the same. Now it's going towards the middle, it's going to be about 90% the same. That's how close they are coming off my skin. But there's a subtle difference in, I'm seeing the pure Havan, it's, I'm smelling that honey, but the, the tobacco is coming up stronger for sure. But it's a light tobacco, it's not the heavy handed tobacco. The animal, the freshness of the um, pineapple is going to come up stronger. Both have the vanilla, but they're like 90% similar right now. It's about five minutes since I sprayed it. Yeah, but they're so similar. If you don't really, really uh dissected it's hard to tell the difference for the newbies for sure new people that um not used to fragrance it can smell the same for you guys but for us doing the side by side it's coming off a little bit obvious both have the strong notes of uh, honey and the vanilla but like i said animal is going to be pineapple and um pure event is going to be tobacco they also have the other like floral notes we're talking about lavender some cinnamon Cedar, Elaine, 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 uh, the typical bergamot, lime, or lemon. Yeah, some white floor in the back, maybe a tinge of um, rose. But mainly it's going to be that sweetness of the honey is going to uh, be on top. Yeah, there's, a f there's more of a freshness on the NML because of the pineapple. And, uh, but you know what, the more, <laughs> the more I'm smelling them side by side, the closer they're becoming, okay? So it is, uh, you're talking about an amount, amount, you could pick this up for 20 or $22. It's, uh, if you enjoy Pure Havana, this is absolute steal, a no-brainer. Just go pick it up, don't even ask any questions. Just just go grab it, it's 20 some dollars for this continued Pure Havana that is legendary in um, for us that fragrance enthusiast. If you did, if you're if you're crazy about this one, animal, just go just go pick it out and thank me later, okay? Don't worry about where one is from. Actually, do you know what animal animal came out before Pure Havan? See, so Pure Havan thought animal is so good and it's so cheap. Let's make our own version. Just give it a little bit twist, put it in a, a kind of funky bottle, and give us a very difficult sprayer, and then we could charge a lot more. <laughs> See that? You know, give it a big star and then um, put our brand on it. We could um, sell it more. But anyway, both are really good. But you know what? To be honest, if this is just my honest take, okay? This might be, um, I might get get killed from the um, uh, enthusiast or diehard, but I don't see too much difference uh, in these two. I, I don't smell too much difference, okay? You could you could you could argue with me, yeah. The nuances, there's a tiny little bit difference. Okay, I, I give you that. But if you're gonna tell me which one is much much better, it's hard to tell which one is much better. Seriously, uh, the quality both are good. Yeah, it, it best. <laughs> Can't believe I'm saying that because I love the uh, the Terry Miguel line. So for me to say they're both equal, yeah, it's it's hard for me too. But um. To be honest, the bottle I have for Mugler, the longevity is not that good. You're talking about half a day maximum. Animal, the same. Okay, animal, animal, the same. Just make sure it's two animal, okay? It's not one, it's not animal, it's animal. <laughs> Got it? So the longevity is not too much different, but just the, uh, the more I'm smelling, the tobacco is stronger in the pure event. Just a tad bit stronger, and both are light tobacco so you're not talking about the super heavy dose of tobacco so with that in mind they're, they're very very similar very close just a super quick review on this guy in case you want to pick it up 
the um, if you're inside AC, right now it's you know warmer weather, but if you're inside AC, this will be perfect. It smells so good. Don't worry about the the, the silly bottle, the name animal and mel. The, the, the scent itself, you can actually put the juice or the animal into Pure Havan and pe most people will not be able to tell the difference. Some of us can because, because we could detect that, that differences. Yes, I'm, I'm smelling, yes, absolutely I could detect the differences, but it's not so major enough to, to, for you to go on eBay looking, you know, getting slaughtered on the price, you know, on the pricing for Pure Havan. Don't, don't, don't waste your money on that. Just pick this up and you should be uh, you know very satisfied got it so with that said um if anything else as far as if not doing a comparison okay if just talking about animal animal the um just remember it's gonna be uh honey pineapple vanilla patchouli some some nuts some lavender cinnamon musk yeah, some floral notes, okay, a lot of mixture because it came out It's okay if I don't tell you it came out like in the 90s, right, but don't You know what you can still still smell modern. It's not outdated. That's what I'm trying to say So yeah, it came out in the 90s, but it's not it's not old. It doesn't smell old doesn't smell Passes it passes time. No, it doesn't it, it can still smell very good this day. Yes, absolutely. I will, I will put my name on it. It will still smell modern, okay? With that said, it's more masculine for sure. All right then, um, what else? Longevity is half a day, it's not too strong. Uh, it's, it's a wonderful scent, I love it. It's more for the um, colder weather, but if you work in the AC in the office, absolutely. Uh, because of the sweetness, not super high heat, okay? But you know what? Sometimes in the high heat, you smell something that's a little bit sweet. It's going to be wonderful. All right, then. I, I'm sorry about the background. There we go. All right. As always, thumbs up, subscribe, all those goodies. Thank you.